Hey everyone, today we are doing a gender reveal balloon wall. We are using a, um, a GMAR um, 12 inch fuchsia. Using GMAR 12 inch metallic blue. And then we're using a GMAR metallic ivory 12 inch. There are some five inch in here. Um, not sure if I have any other sizes. If I do, I will list it down below. Um, the main thing I want to focus on is just getting the base built. Um, if I have time today, I will also fill it in. Um, I do have some black Qualitex 12 inch that I kind of wanted to use to make a question mark, but I don't know if I'll get that far yet. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, just want to go over what a dupe is. A dupe is, um, if you've heard the term dupe, a dupe is just a pair of balloons. It doesn't matter if they're the same size, it doesn't matter if they are different sizes. Um, a dupe is just a pair of balloons. Now, when you combine two dupes together, that makes a quad. So a quad, meaning four, is four balloons. So these two dupes, would pair together to make a quad. Now, when you have three pairs of dupes, that, or more, that would make it six balloons or more, which usually, which would be considered a cluster. A cluster is six or more balloons. So this right here, I'm just using the different colors to, to show, um, to demonstrate that there are six different balloons, but six balloons or more are clusters. Usually when you build your base, you want to use clusters to build your base. Um, some people just go and do a line of dupes, but I feel like clusters really give you the um, color block effect. So if you do your balloon base in clusters, then you will have an easier time color blocking because you'll make each cluster one particular color. So this is just different colors for demonstration purposes, but um, your clusters are going to be between six to eight, sometimes even 10 balloons. Um, and so you use those clusters and your color blocks to build your base. And then from there you can add different sizes or, you know, take sizes away and mix the colors up. But um, I just want to go over that so you guys can have a great time building your balloons. Okay, so now that we have the two columns taken care of, we are going, and I'm gonna do the, the top last, but now that I have the two columns taken care of, I'm going to just um, continue the blue and continue the pink, um, making basically my own standalone column, and then I'm going to, um, like I'm gonna make a freestanding column next to this column, and then I'm going to tie the two columns together. Um, I think using the 260 because I don't have any more fishing line from what I remember. But yeah, that's that.
project is not complete. Um, I wanted to do a question mark in the middle on top of the metallic ivory. Um, and then once I got started doing the project, I realized this takes a lot of balloons. So, um, so I wanted to save my black balloons because I was gonna do a question mark in black in the middle um, for our gender reveal, but um, it takes a lot of balloons and I didn't wanna use my black balloons because I also have already have ideas for those balloons right now. So I didn't wanna use that. Um, these are just me using um, extra balloons that I have for this project. So um, that fit the color scheme. Um, also, I don't know if you guys can see, let me tilt this. This is what I mean by a lot of balloons. Like I used 50 of each color and I guess I didn't have a whole bag of 50 for the metallic white because we got this gap right here. So, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so that's one thing that I learned is that this uses a lot of balloons. It takes a lot of time. And so if you're gonna attempt a project like this, just know that it is gonna take a lot of time. It is gonna take a lot of balloons. So be prepared, get, make sure you have a bag of 100 because you might even use more than 50 for each color, especially if you're only doing two colors. I did three colors. That's almost just with the 12 inch, that's, 150 balloons right there. So um, I'll have the exact count down below in the description, but that's number one. It's gonna use a lot of balloons. Lesson number two is time. This was filmed over the course of several days. Um, one, because I do have a daytime job, but also because um, it takes a lot of time. Um, and I ran out of, did I tell you guys I ran out of, um, what's that thing called? I ran out of fishing lines, so, and then I ran out of 260s, okay? This is the world that I live in, guys. This is, things just come at me and there's always a problem, but we regroup and we make it work. So I just ended up tying the necks together um, and that worked out, but obviously lots of balloons, lots of time. And then third, um, all, if you guys enjoy watching my journey, if you guys, enjoy seeing my little projects that I come up with. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any ideas of projects that you want me to attempt. Um, next month, again, like I said before, is my daughter's birthday. So I already have some projects for her LOL theme party. We're gonna have props, a few centerpieces. So next month is gonna be a big production. So. I'll take you guys along the journey with that. And until then, stay crafty and I'll see you next time.